finally trying Mary Phillips underpainting technique, and this has been trending all over social media. Here's what I use. I'm using Tower 28, their new Sculptino bronzer in Getty, and I'm using the brush from Zoeva, the 110 face shape brush to just first put it on, and I'm using the 103 Define buffer brush to blend it all out. And you're first gonna start with this with clean skin. I use the primer and skincare prior to, and now I'm using the new LU Game Face Second Sin Concealer in Winter. I've been obsessed with this new concealer. It's so lightweight. It looks like nothing, but it covers so well, and it doesn't feel like you have any makeup on. And I'm blending it in with the Orsay Cosmetic Makeup Sponge. It's dry, and I'm just blending it in first. And it looks so beautiful and seamless, and it just melts into your skin. I don't even look like I have any makeup on. Now I'm going with Dior Forever Glow Foundation in 3N and I'm doing a very, very light touch and blending it with a powder brush actually from Japanesque and it gives a very seamless finish. And I'm going in with Ali the Stack the Odds, but I'm using just a blush. It's in Sunkiss, the Stack, and the Coral Blush. Now I'm going in with Cicely Paris Vital Rouge Shine in two shades, the Sheer Petal and Beverly Hills to create a beautiful look. I'm setting this look with the Givenchy Prism Libre Loose Setting Powder and also with the LH Powder Puff to matte out areas that I need. And this is a final look. I am obsessed. Check it out. <laughs>